Hey, we're back on the Mobility Watts. Hey, Juliet. Say hi to the folks. Hi. Uh, today we're going to set up tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's piece, but we're going to start by uh, showing you a quick assessment. I'm not a big fan of using correlates for human movement to assess. Um, these things do not necessarily reflect how well the athlete moves, although it tells me something and I believe in them as tools for a quick shaman's blow for someone and to show them quickly how inefficient they are. For example, what I'm going to show you today real quick is just, I'm going to do a really simple flexion uh, assessment and it's just bringing Juliet's uh, heel to her butt. And without resistance, there's no resistance all the way to heel to butt, almost. And you'll notice that she stops about six inches uh, heel to butt. And that represents one or zero, and that's a zero. So that's a fail. And what's happening here is that you know, there's not a lot of resistance in Juliet's hip and leg until she hits this spot. Remember, this is not a quad assessment. This is an assessment of how kind of long all of her anterior structures are. She's not even true hip extension here, but she should easily be able to get heel to butt uh, for a positive test or for a negative test and for a, a passing grade. So I want you to do this to someone else and find out what your score is and see if you've got a one or a zero, okay? So we're gonna set that up for tomorrow. Again, that doesn't reflect how much you can power clean, it reflects how much potential you have left, and it's only a correlate for human movement, not the human movement, which is a big distinction. So hand this over, and now let's get to the M1. So today I want to set up, watch right here. Today I want to set up uh, what I call the five-way shoulder. <laughs> what, what, you can't put your finger in front of the video. So here's the five-way shoulder. First one is this, so we're gonna go straight into our kind of normal overhead positioning. We're gonna lat, and I want you to spend a minute here only, so we're just gonna kind of work through this. That's minute one, okay? Minute two is to go ahead and get into a, still an overhead position, but we're just gonna do it this time in that front rack position, biasing the tricep. So it's still overhead, but I'm just putting a little bit more of a premium on these structures here. So we're gonna get a minute in this position, keep that rib cage in and down, turn the thumb up, okay? Second, or number three, we're going to wind up and really catch these biceps and more of this kind of lateral arm uh, abduction. Turn the palm up into external rotation, and I want you to turn away and get a big distraction. You're going to feel all those fascial planes tearing the whole way. Palm goes up, belly tight, shoulder back, turn away. Let's get them in this position. If you want to tie the neck in, go for it if you're gutty, okay? That's position three. Position four is to pull all the way across the body. I turn the palm up, hit that external rotation, and then pulling into this position. And I'm gonna get the stretch of all the external rotators, pulling the scapula. But I'm gonna use this hand, turn the other hand over, hit the external rotation first, and then I'm gonna turn and pull across. And I can change that angle a little bit, but anything in this position is gonna make a big difference. Again, you'll feel the neck. Can you tie the neck in? That's fine. That's number four. Number five is going hand behind back, shoulder back, into that nice position that we talked about before, that hand behind back. I'm getting a little gentle distraction. And then I'm going to see if I can tie my anterior quadrant. Because the neck is, the shoulder is already pre-positioned back, I can just take my other hand and tack some of these tissues down and stretch into those corners, especially this anterior quadrant with the uh, kind of short neck flexors and the scalings. Anchor the neck, look up. So we're going to go a minute in all five of those positions. Got it? Five minutes. One, one minute in each position, all five, uh, five positions, both sides, 10 minutes, and then go find out if you are a one or a zero on the uh, heel of butt test. Talk to you tomorrow.